Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with some more World of Tanks, except this time we are rolling out in my new FV4202 British Tier 10 medium tank. Finally got this bad boy on the live server. Pretty excited. Although, I have to say there's a certain charm that the uh, Centurions have in terms of their looks and aesthetics. I, I really like and prefer uh, their silhouette. Turret's really nice looking on those units as well. This one, though, of course, far better stat-wise. Well, I won't say far better. Better in certain areas. We'll take a in-depth look once we get to the garage. Uh, as you can see, the reload time on this is a little bit better. You can do about six rounds a minute compared to the five. all on the uh, Centurion Mark 7 slash 1. Firepower is about the same. Accuracy the same as well. I should have had that tank, but alas, I couldn't get the last shot off. Alright, so, turret armor on this thing is better, so keeping it hull down is still a good tactic. We nailed it back. There may be some issues with the turret ring area, hard to tell, still testing it out. And we've lost targets there. Still a mobile sniper, it's a little bit more maneuverable has a 50 traverse speed compared to the four, 40 or 39 30 something on the Mark 7 slash 1. We'll look at it once we get back to the garage. Well, we're taking a few of them with us so far. Shot out. He's going to go back around. We want to be careful though because we are putting ourselves out in the open here. Another kill that I probably should have had. Really good maneuverability, but it still has the same speed, which is 40. It's lighter. Engine horsepower is 810, um, which is less than what the Centurions have, but since the tank is lighter, it's going to do about the same speed. It, it just feels a bit more responsive, though. I think that traverse speed helps a lot. And... Shot out. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Really? Pen no damage on a piece of artillery? That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. What did I hit that would do that? How strange. Where are you going? We it back. Somebody else is going to grab him. Oh, hello. Where are you? Aw, what was he behind that I couldn't get a full silhouette? Is that a rock over there or something? I don't know, maybe it was a magic bush or the hill interfering. Ooh, that doesn't look good. I don't want to try to keep on the move. Get into cover. Staying out in the open usually equals bad idea. T-57 heavy. T28 over there. We're going to have to move in a little more. I like to keep ranged with this tank, but uh, I don't have any shots. Let's see if I can get eyes on this guy's turret. Hello. Alright, hopefully nothing gets me on the 6. Uh, E100, I think we should be able to come up alongside him. Threat left, gone. Up, oh, yeah, he's ready for me though. This is gonna take fire, so you're gonna have to pick your target, son. That's that. Final target is far out. We'll just kill him. I'm not gonna really worry about the cap. Maybe if I can 
get a visual on him, I can throw something at him. What are we dealing with? Oh, he's behind that hill. Let's see what happens here. Good look at the tank as it rolls in. Lower profile body. Turret's really bouncy. You can see the angles on it. Come on, let me get one shot. Ah, <laughs> so close. That's that. So, nothing amazing there. Okay. Yeah, not at all, actually. A couple of uh, shots that I missed out on, but we did get some good contacts. Just not enough. I don't know what was up with that arty. Ugh. Must have hit some strange area. Anyways, so, taking a look at this thing, you can see that the uh, hull is just a lot lower to the ground. Well, I'm not going to say a lot, but if you compare it to the uh, Centurion Mark 7-1... Let's try to line it up as level as we can here. So, it's a harder target, even with the turret. Uh, you've got this cupola here that could perhaps be a weak spot. Actually, I'm pretty sure that it is, uh, but still fairly hard to hit at distance. You can see if we compare and take a look at some statistics here. We're going to go up in hit points. Weight is less, engine horsepower 950 and 810 respectively to match the weight. Uh, so you're going to get the same, about the same acceleration. And speed is 40 still, 32 traverse speed, actually a lot less than I thought. I had said 39 earlier, it's 32 on the 7 slash 1 and 50 on this bad boy. That's really nice to have that. Um, we've got 121, hull armor is about the same. And then our turret actually goes up to 196, and then 196 even on the sides too, which is nice. Um, but but your rear armor is suffering there. Uh, 35, uh, but that's typical. Uh, except for on here, you've got 112, so we got to make sure that you're not flank facing. Uh, what else we got? Shell damage, you're going to be the same there. The rate of fire is different, 6.45 rounds a minute versus the 5. And then your turret traverse is going up to 40, and then everything else remains about the same. And that's that. So, you know, generally, you can see that the this sloping is insane. Look at how steep that is. You're probably going to bounce a lot off of this, especially at angles. Uh, but generally, you're a hard target. If, if you, It's very easy to keep hull down with this. So the silhouette of this tank is just generally what's going to make it awesome. Uh, compared to your Centurion, which is, you know, just taller and, and bigger in size generally. So we can take a look at some other angles here. You know what? There really needs to be a model viewer. You should be able to view all the tanks regardless of owning them or not. But uh, let's just take a look at some of the angles here as well. So just that difference in size, keeping this thing low to the ground. It's kind of like a stealth, you know, medium in a way. But uh, it just doesn't have that speed that some of the others will have, especially the, the new German Leopards. But, uh, you know, generally it is, it's got a little bit more maneuverability, so it's, it's close to being as maneuverable as uh, the Leopard, I think. I think the Leopard's 52 Traverse, I forget, but very close there. Uh, it just doesn't have that nice 64, 65 uh, kilometer speed. But uh, your gun, your accuracy, it's, it's the same as what you've got on the uh, Mark 7, except for the fact that you are dealing with uh, a better rate of fire. Which is nice, because the gun is fantastic. We all know that. Um, but I'm in the process of leveling up this crew. I, of course, have kept my other Centurion, so I haven't transferred anybody over. And that's that. So, again, I'd say with this thing, keep it hauled down. You know, use your maneuverability to get yourself in a nice sniping position and let them have it. I'm a little concerned with this here, this part of the turret, the almost the turret ring area. Um... I think this is a weak spot from what I've seen. Uh, you've got your, you're have got probably going to have a weak spot here as well. So try to keep really low to the ground. These boxes are not... Uh, well, you can't hit them. They're not hit boxes is what I'm trying to say. So 
your turret is really just the area within here. So they can shoot through this all they want. It's not going to do anything. Same for that box, probably back there. Um, so you can see you've got some extreme sloping here, but you don't actually have an external gun mantlet. So that could be a problem there and along here, perhaps. I don't know how many people are going to want to aim at this because it looks like it's going to be really, really bouncy. Um, but again, I still need to do some more tests and well, you never want to get hit at the rear end of the tank. So let's go in and do another. Again, I haven't played too many games with this thing. Uh, still getting used to it. Um, you know, I like the way it feels. It seems to drive pretty well. Feels just a bit more responsive because of that uh, traverse speed, and that's always nice. Uh, I'm still kind of um, spoiled on those German Leopards, though. Man, they could take off quick. They just couldn't take any beating whatsoever. This thing is very bouncy. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've had a lot of shells bounce off the turret. I'll have to do some more tests to see uh, where the actual weak spots are on it, though. Generally, though, I keep to my motto, don't get hit in the first place. It's going to happen, but try not to. Keep a distance. Let's go. You are a sniper. Let's see... I'm always going to roll for the bridge on this map, usually because most people uh, generally go towards the town. I'm also working on the British uh, Carnarvon, and we'll see how that goes. I actually missed out on the chance to purchase it for a million less over the weekend. Uh, I just didn't have the XP nor did I have the credits after I bought this thing. So, unless I would have bought credits, which I generally try not to do too often because, yeah, since, you know, you can earn them on your own, why buy them? Just takes more time, of course, but here we are. Uh, let me get to something that's a little better for cover here. You can see that this little hull down position is nice here. And we have that great British gun depression. Shot out. I don't know what he's up to. What is he thinking? Wow, look at them all. This is interesting. Oof, that could have been a friendly shot. Oh, and we're hit. Wow, you managed to get a hit on me. All right. 57's down. It looks like all of the artillery is fighting me now. We're going to have to back out of here, unfortunately. That really ticks me off because I have so many targets to shoot at. For some reason, they all wanted to go after me. Uh, this could be bad trying to go over here. I'm going to try to get another shot in bail, perhaps. No, nope, I've got nothing. Let's get out of here. The other thing is, is I don't have sixth sense yet, so I can't tell what's going on. my speed to fall back a little bit and find a different hull down position. Dang that artillery. I think that that's pretty much all that was hitting me there. There's their scout down. Perhaps this guy, the conqueror, actually had a good idea. Just hang out by the bushes. That's what I should have done. Generally, I've had good luck at that uh, hull down position, but not this time. Yag Tiger. Barely have a shot on him. That's probably going to bounce all the time from the front. Uh, we've managed to hit quite a few of them, though. T-32. I would assume at this point artillery is paying attention to something else. Ah, that went right into the dirt. I thought I had his silhouette, but I didn't. Back in the cover. Let's see, hopefully that Yag Tiger is taking his shot. That'll be that, and 
Yag Panther 2 actually hit me, so let's grab some more cover down here. So that means there's a TD back there. There's actually quite a few of them. We need to be careful. We want to lose our spot here. I'm definitely not going to take that route. Hopefully the team in the town is going to work their way through and, and end up being the distraction. At this point, I've taken so much damage, we need to wait till the enemy's spotted before we can do much. Let's see. Got a scout rolling in. A little worried uh, about targets perhaps up there, but the AMX has rolled in safely. Oh, there we go. T-69. Three forty-five on the back. Their GW Panther's still alive. Dark Panther Two is down. Let's see. He's gonna. Tr Let's see if he gets cocky and wants to engage that AMX. It's so hard coming off of a tank that has sixth sense and ending up here, having to play. <laughs> Old school without it. Yag Tiger down over there. Let's see if we got a shot off on him, maybe. Penetration. And we do. Object as well. They're both falling back. Uh, he's into cover now. Shot on the object. Dark Tiger has no idea. Object has no idea either. That's a miss. Dark Tiger's down. Object's out of sight. Dang, I wish I didn't miss that guy. And where's that object going to go? Is he going to run for artillery? He might, actually. Nope, they got him. Alright, time to move in. T-69 fired one shot. He's down. Nothing but artillery left. Good job uh, to our artillery on our team. Just keep moving. Generally, they're over in the back here. Although, nothing yet. They might be on the other side, perhaps. Hotel 1, maybe. Oh, yep. That's what I thought. Ah. <laughs> that is that. Kind of a rough start there. I think uh, all of their artillery took shots on me at the beginning of the game. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. But uh, a little bit better there. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do one more battle, as per usual. Brief transition there. I had to crash the desktop on the last round. Hopefully it doesn't do that to me on this one. Generally, I don't have it while I'm in-game. It typically only happens when I'm browsing the tech trees, which is weird in itself. Uh, doesn't happen that frequently. It used to be much worse. They seem to have taken care of a lot of the issues, and uh, sometimes I think maybe it's certain NVIDIA beta drivers that are partially responsible, but... I think 
I don't want to be the first one in here. I see that somebody's asking me about the FV4202, but I kind of don't have time to respond just yet. What are we dealing with over here? No contact on that side. I'm worried about the front here, though. Nothing. Don't want to get shot in the back either, but we've got some cover there. Tiger 2 in for an assist. Try to support this route. Oh, look at that. Already spotted. I wonder how much defense they have. We might find out. Let's take a look. I do have a decent amount of speed to be able to pull this off. Ah. Get rid of the arty threat, although we're losing anyway, so it doesn't seem to really matter. But once we go through here, perhaps we can come around on the other targets. T-30's coming back over, though, for some defense, it seems. Uh, let's see, yeah, where'd that arty go? Don't know. He's going to have to shoot through that wall before he can grab me. There's their M40. Your reload time is terrible, though, isn't it? By the time I get this track back up, I think maybe. I don't know. Penetration. Track repair. Drive on. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, I think some of these guys are coming back around. Oh, snap. That's not good. Well, let's see. I, oh, there goes a shot in. Let's see. Come around through here. Artie wants to perhaps go into TD mode. T30's hiding behind the corner. Do that again. Please do that again. I've already lost this battle. Come on, do it again before somebody flanks me. You're just waiting for it, aren't you? Wow, look at them all over here. This is fantastic. All right, well. There's that. That's going to be a thing. He backed off. T-30 took his shot, I think, actually. There's that. We're on our reload. This guy thinks he might be able to grab me. Sabo up. Oh, you son of a bee mother fracker. Woohoo! Oh, son of a gun. <laughs> oh, man. Screw that noise. What did I get? What is this? Oh, yeah, for the artillery destruction. I've had that before. Uh, well, that was kind of fun, but dang it. You know, I could have perhaps had one more kill if I didn't get flanked. But uh, that was my team just kind of... Uh, getting killed pretty quickly on that one too so that wasn't all that amazing it always happens the games where you do fantastic more often than not your team manages to somehow fail you and you end up with that not that I did all that well in the other games and not that that always happens because obviously I've pulled off some miracles myself in the past but uh, dang it you know that would have been a nice battle to to win
At least we didn't go into the negatives as far as currency, right? <laughs> oh well, that was that was that was pretty cool. I mean, you can see the capabilities of this tank. I'm telling you that 50 traverse speed is probably the best upgraded stat you're going to have on this thing. Uh, sure, the upgraded armor on the turret is nice, but but really this maneuverability makes it a little bit more versatile if you are in a close quarter situation. In that battle, I went and did the opposite of what I normally would do with this tank, which is a ranged fighter. But I said to myself, you know what? I don't think there's a lot of defense. I'm going to go in and take out their artillery. Unfortunately, the rest of my team thought that <laughs> they would just uh, hang out and get killed. So that happens. Good game for myself personally, though. So I'll take it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at the FV. 4202 British Tier 10 Medium. I'll see you on the next one.